You know that feeling when you search for something on Google and the top result seems like it read your mind? Have you ever wondered how you can claim that number one spot and become the go-to source for your audience? Well, I've done this before. If you take a look at this Google search result here, I've typed in Photography Lightbox Australia and you can see the number one result is photolight.com.au. I built this e-commerce store. I did the SEO. I've claimed the number one position. I grew the sales to over six figures and I sold it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the steps I took to rank this website to the number one spot on Google. We're going to set up WordPress. We're going to create the content and I'm going to show you how to do this at scale. And it's really important. Cannot stress this enough. To stick around to the end because I've got two game changing tips that are going to make your journey even smoother and faster. So let's get into it. Just before we get into building out a new site, I just want to explain what topical authority is and why it's important. And I think the best way to do that is by an example. So on Google here, if you type in, say, Instagram story template, let's see what comes up. So you can see the very first result is Canva. Now, Canva, they have basically built a page within their site that covers every single aspect of graphic design and everything around it. So chances are, if you search for any kind of template to do with graphic design, Canva is going to be it. Now, this is Canva if you're, if you're not familiar with it. And you can just see, look at this, it's got docs, whiteboards, presentation, video, etc. You name it, they've got you covered. Now, if you want to see the impact of topical authority and dominating your niche, take a look at SEMrush for Canva. I've just put in canva.com here and you can see since they started way back in you know, 2016 on their on their journey, they now get around 120 million clicks every month from organic traffic alone. So in terms of organic traffic and using topical authority, Canva is absolutely smashing it. So the point is, whatever niche you're in, if you want to leverage topical authority, build a lot of content and a lot of pages around a specific topic. Alrighty, so with all that said, it's time to start building a site. And what I'm going to do is build a site that's based around tropical beach holidays. And so this, this site, it could be a travel agent or it could be an affiliate site that has links that the user's getting a commission. So either way, you just want traffic coming in. And I'm going to show you how we do this. The first step is we want to set up a new website. So to do that, I'm going to use SiteGround. You can use any kind of builder you want. If you want to follow along, you know, Site ground's perfect. Anyway, so I'm going to set this up using a temporary domain because I'm not going to keep the site. It's just a, a demo. And I'll go with this free plan and I'll have a new website and we'll make it WordPress. And yeah, that'll be fine. Let's let's go. We don't need the site scanner. So I'll just go to finish. In about 90 seconds or so, we'll have a brand new clean WordPress site to, to start with. So our site's all set up. We just want to go down and select. Uh, we want to encrypt the site. So we'll just select the SSL encryption here. Okay, so our encryption is done. I just want to make sure we're enforcing the HTTPS. And that's about it. Next, what we want to do is open up our new blank site and select a theme. We've got our blank WordPress site. I'm going to exit the wizard. I don't need that. What I do need to do though is select a theme. So I'm just going to go across to appearance to themes and I'm going to add a new theme. I'm going to search for Amiga. See what comes up. Yeah, we'll go with this Amiga travel blog. So we'll install that and we'll activate it. So if I go across to the WordPress site, we'll take a quick look. There we go. So we've got our blank site. Next thing, before we get too far into it, I just want to add a couple of plugins that we are going to need. So we're going to add a new one. Okay, so if we do a quick search, the plugin I want to install is called TaxoPress. And this is the one here. So it's going to help us with our tags and our categories. I'm just going to activate that. We will set that up a little bit later. The, the next plugin we want to install is for an app called Placid. I'm just going to add that now. We'll upload it. Alrighty, so I've got this Placid social media plugin. I will show you how to get that a little bit later. I'm just going to install it now. And it's important we activate it. So we have Placid and we have TaxoPress. We've got one more plugin we need to add, and that is the Mango plugin that allows us to connect our AI content generation tool directly to WordPress so that we can post automatically. So let's grab that one. Okay, so I've selected the Mango plugin so we can connect. I'll install that and activate it. All good. Now we're all set up. So 
for our new website, if we want to build topical authority with Google, we're going to need to generate content. It's going to be hyper-focused around a niche. The tool we're going to be using is Mango SEO. The first step in terms of programmatic SEO to build that topical authority is generating a list of blog titles around the niche. If I go over to the tools, we can take a look at Beethoven here. Effectively, what Beethoven step one here will do for us is we can enter in a key phrase, which I'll call the head term. Beethoven will add a modifier, which is one or two words after it. So if we want to do a, a niche site around tropical holidays or tropical beaches, that will be our head term. And then Mango will come up with a whole bunch of titles we can use to generate content on. Now I'll select 100 here because I want the maximum. I'm going to leave it in English and let's go. Alrighty, so you can see in maybe about 20 seconds, Beethoven's come up with 100 titles for content explicitly around Tropical Beach Holiday. Alrighty, so once we have our list of titles, our programmatic titles that Beethoven has come up with, we need to generate the content and post them to WordPress. Now, ideally, this would be done in another order, but I need to connect WordPress now, and then we'll use another tool that's going to send all this generated content directly into WordPress. So to connect WordPress, we just go back to the index page or the home page and click on WordPress. And you see up the top, it's telling us you do need to install a plugin. We've already done that. But if you have not installed the plugin on your WordPress site, you're going to see this flashing green and white cloud. If you hover on it, it says click it to download the WordPress authentication plugin. So that is all you need to do. It's going to give you a zip file. Put it on your desktop somewhere and then when you're in WordPress, just like I did earlier in the video, load it up and activate it. Once that's done, all you need to do is put in your email address, your password and the domain of your WordPress account. So we'll do that now and we'll connect it and I'll show you what happens. Now your, your domain, you can get that by going back to your WordPress account and just up the top, if you click on it, you can just take, in my case, that is the temporary domain. So I'll just copy that one. Go back to Mango, paste it here. Now, the other thing to note here is this checkbox. If you want the post to publish automatically, leave it checked. If you want them to post as a draft, uncheck this checkbox. The other thing is, if you need any help, you can go to the setup help reference guide just by clicking this. But otherwise, I think we're good to go. Let's authenticate it. So once you're authenticated, it's going to bring you to a page to show you your existing WordPress post listings or your blog listings. Uh, for this brand new site, obviously there is no content at all. Now that we're connected, we can go and post all of our generated titles into a tool and it will kick off a, an automatic posting over to WordPress. Okay, so we're back on Beethoven. Now you can tell we're connected to WordPress because we've got this blue icon up the top here. And if we hover on it, it says we are connected. So that's all good. Now what we need to do is get this over to the other tool. And the way we do that is you just click on this icon here and it's going to convert it into a more of a comma separated list. And then we just press copy. And now I'm going to head over to Verstappen. Okay, now we're over on Verstappen. All we need to do is paste our list of article titles in. Here they are here. And you can see generate 100 articles in bulk. Now, at this point, you can choose to generate the content and send it to a CSV and then you can download it, it'll be in a spreadsheet, or you can post direct to WordPress. Now, if we go back up at the top here, we can see, just to confirm, we are connected to WordPress, so that's all good. So we can just click on here, post direct to WordPress, and let's go. If I go back to WordPress now, and we wait just a couple of minutes, we should start to see these articles come in. Okay. While the content's being generated, I quickly want to show you Placid. Let me sort of take you through it and hopefully it'll make sense. So once you're in Placid, you create a template. So I'll create a template. I'm just going to go to open graph here because I need something that's sort of 1200 by 630 and that goes well on top of a WordPress post. But depending on what content you're using these images for, you can pick anything you like. We might go with this one here. It says it's a beach hotel. Hit create. Now for, for the moment, I'm actually not going to alter any, any of this. But just be aware on the side here, you can add a text layer, you can add 
different shapes and elements and you can change the picture in the background to anything you, you want. Once you have this template set up the way you want it, you want to hit save and we can close this down and you can see it's just generating it here. So now what we want to do is we want to open it in the studio. Now what it's asking us here is what do you want the media to be? What do you want the title to be? What do you want the text to be? These, these are parameters. We don't actually need to do this now. Once we're over in WordPress, WordPress posts have these types of parameters. And what we can do is associate the text to be the article title, the description to be the article description. So now just so that we're, this is available to us in WordPress or any other tool we were using it with, we just need to create this image. Once that's done, we can go back to projects. So we have our template here, it's all set. Now, when we're back over in WordPress, we're actually going to be able to see these templates because we have the plugin and we have linked it up. The only other thing you'll need to link it up, and I won't open it in here, is you click on your API token. And when you do that, you will be able to paste that token into Placid in WordPress, which gives it that, that integration. So anyway, all of this will become really clear once we have a look at our blog posts. Just a quick one, if you'd like to give Mango SEO a try, there'll be a link in the description that will give you 70% off the starter and the pro plans. And if you'd like to check out other tools that we recommend here at Ambitious, you can go over to the Ambitious Hub and there's an entire listing of really cool tools if you're in the SEO and web development kind of game. Anyway, let's get back on with it. So content is still being generated here, but let's take a look at a couple of those plugins I added earlier. So I've just shown you how to use Placid and get that image all set up. So let's jump in there and see what we do in WordPress to get it automatically assigned to, to our content. So if you just go into Placid and you go on to on-demand images, what you want to do is click on the assets here and you want to create an asset. Now I've already done this and I've done it for an image, it's a beach holiday. So I actually can click on it here and take a look. What happens now is when this post is coming in, there's the ability to auto set it as a, a featured image and use it in your content. For the picture, I will leave it as default. So what that means is this background image here, you can see will, will stay as the default. The title here, so this is the title here, it's pretty small, but you'll see it when we have a look at the posts later. Um, that is gonna be the title from our post. And the, the text here, I've got no text on this particular template. And the URL, I've used a custom one and I'm calling it Tropical Beach Holidays. So this allows us to dynamically update the image for every single piece of content. Placid is a really cool tool if you're focused on one niche and you wanna give it a really consistent style and look for every single header image. When you've done all that, you just want to hit update down the bottom. Now in the posts, once these are finished running, I will show you where this all comes out. So the other tool we want to take a look at and we installed the plugin earlier is TaxoPress. And what TaxoPress does is it actually analyzes your content and it will assign the category and the tags. So if we go over to TaxoPress and we go down to auto terms, now this plugin is free. So at the moment, the auto term is set to categories and it will look at post types and it will assign categories based on the content it finds in the post. Now, to do this for your tags, all you need to do is go into edit and you go to general here. And then instead of being the categories that you're gonna run it for, you change this over to tags posts, right? And then you go to existing content and press add auto terms to existing content. I won't do this just yet because the posts haven't finished coming through, but that's what I'll be doing. And it's going to auto assign all the tags. Then I'll rerun it for the categories. And that job is completely done. Let's get back to taking a look at our posts. They should be just about finished. Okay, so Mango has finished publishing all 100 articles over to WordPress. You can see here we have 100 articles. The other thing that has happened, so TaxoPress was set to assign categories. So what it does is as the posts come in, you can wait till it's finished and just run that process on categories. And you can see at the moment, there's no tags assigned to this content. But to do that, we can just go back to TaxoPress. If you're on the free version, go to auto terms. We'll click on edit. We go down to this one, general. And we're gonna swap this over to the tags and we want this set to post. Save that. There's a few other options here. I generally don't change any of them, but if I go to the existing content, 
what we want to do now is we will hit add auto terms to existing content. So this is going to scan the content and add the tags to the to each article. Now you can see that all of the tags have been automatically assigned. So that saves us a bunch of a bunch of time. And if we want to take a look at our articles, we just go over to view and then we can see it. So this is the Sunlit Oasis Tropical Beach Holiday. You can see here in the in the categorization of it, it's under beach holiday, and then we have our title. Um, we have the author, the date, and again the, the, the category. If we scroll down the bottom here, um, it comes with an FAQ, and also here are our tags. The other good thing, if you're using a template like this in terms of topical, building topical authority and, having, and using content at scale, you get these links that are running down the side. So as the user comes on to a particular post, there are links that are taking them to, to other posts like you know, Coastal Blissful Holiday. Now, the other thing you'll notice also as we move between these posts is the image is updating. So we have this dynamic text. You can have a dynamic URL if you want, and you can have other dynamic features on your image. You can even have the, the photo to be dynamic as well. So once you've generated all of your content around your niche and you've got that content that really should give you that topical authority, it's really important that a couple of your articles are highly optimized. Select a couple of articles. You can use the keyword research tools within Mango to find some of the titles that have high traffic and low, low competition. Use those articles, chuck them into Surfer, optimize them and repost them. And those articles are what's called your pillar articles. They are going to drive a lot of the traffic and your other content will get read and clicked and re-rated as people click off the pillar articles onto your other content. The other thing that is super important if you're doing this and you're serious about it is make sure that you force the indexing of, of this content. So to do that, go into search Google Search Console, force the index of it, and it's going to tell you which articles uh, being indexed and which ones are being served up in search. And they're the articles, uh, popular articles, they're the ones you might want to put some more effort into. I do hope this video has been useful. If you got some value, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.